Civil Engineering Academy, helping you in your journey to pass the PE. All right, welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. Today we're solving a problem from water resources, and the problem states water flows in a 42-inch circular conduit. At what depth of flow in inches does the pipe convey maximum flow? Assume a variable N value. So an N value, this is Manning's N. Manning's. Okay, so <clears throat> first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the Civil Engineering Reference Manual. That's what I'm using. And in there, um, we need to figure out what's going on. So if we have this circular, well, that's not very good. Let's draw a circular conduit. And water flows in a 42 case. Okay, so we know this guy is 42 inches. 42 inches. And we're trying to figure out what depth of flow in inches did the pipe convey maximum flow. So in here, there's some sort of depth. And we're going to call this big D, and this is little d. Now, in order to solve this, we have to use uh, a chart and this chart is in a lot of hydraulics books but in the civil engineering reference manual if you turn to appendix 19 point C that's the edition that I'm using you have a wonderful chart there and I'm going to attempt to draw this out let's just quickly draw something here so on the left hand side you have ratios of depth to diameter so this is D over D and that matches what I've listed here what little d is and big D is D is the diameter the little d is the depth of the flow and what we are going to be looking at there's lots of curves on this but we are going to look at discharge because it's asking for maximum flow maximum flow or Q flow rate okay and we're also told to assume a variable Manning's N and if you're looking at the chart you will see a couple different curves here for discharge and it's labeled discharge one of them is a dashed line that looks something like this isn't going to be very good but something like this curves back in and another one is a solid line and the solid line looks something like this let's draw a solid line and it comes up and it kind of follows this like this okay and this dashed line it says is constant constant Q and or with a Manning's N or variable so all we need to do is follow this variable line down here you're given hydraulic elements so in there it, it's listed there's a, a flow right over there Q over Q full so what we need to do is find the maximum on this hydraulic element and that max sits somewhere up here that's the point of the curve where it's the max and if you draw a line straight over it looks like that falls about I'm gonna say 0 0.95 on this axis okay so I just took a straight line from the max the max of the Q over Q full so the max flow rate of the variable end value and that's giving me 0.95 a ratio D over D is equal to 0 0.95 now all we need to do is solve for this so let's solve for the depth it's going to be 0 0.95 times the big D is 42 inches that gives me 39.9 or 40 inches which is answer C
So this is kind of a tricky question because the way to solve this is by using the charts. You have to use appendix 19.c to solve this. And you got to really uh, study this chart to know what it's asking for. So I hope this helped you identify what to look for and help you on this uh, water resources problem. If you need more tips and tricks, head to civilengineeringacademy.com. Thanks, bye.